What's up everyone, this is Live Talk is Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you a bunch of really cool Siri shortcuts, and one of these is really good if you have a jailbroken iPhone, but the rest of these are perfect if you are jailbroken or not jailbroken, because they're all helpful. So the first one's really cool, it's called iBeta. I will have all the people who created this down below in the description, and basically what it allows you to do is it allows you to find betas for applications that haven't been released yet, or they have been released, but you can get... A new version of the app before the new update is released so this was made by boom hacks apple addict and mr r and i will link them all down below in the description now this next one is very similar it was made by tech savage pro i will link him down below as well it's just a more categorized version and i believe there actually is another shortcut that allows you to have betas i didn't mention it in the video but if i can find it online i will link it down below but basically you just want to select the category and you can then find the application that you want to find the beta to so i would just experiment with these some of these can only be clicked a certain amount of times by a certain amount of users so some of the links do need to be updated so i will see what i can do about that for example this one doesn't work but there are ones that work for example if you watch my video on how to take apple music to the next level that is one of these betas. So this next shortcut is really cool. It basically brings Siri shortcuts to the next level. So it allows you to back up your shortcuts to iCloud. You can import shortcuts and things like that. You can select a bunch of shortcuts at the same time and share a mass amount of shortcuts rather than having to share them individually like by tapping on the three dots. So typically you'd have to tap on the share icon and then download the link and then share the individual link it was just a huge pain in the butt but now you can just share them easily this next one lets you search an image or text through google or you can use a voice it's basically just google on steroids but for the widget panel so it's really cool i will link the person down below who created this as well so make sure you check out everyone who created these shortcuts they put a lot of time and effort into these so this next shortcut's really cool you can send a message and it'll also send your location to a specific contact so you will have to allow your contacts and you will also have to allow your location to be accessed now it didn't work on my device i'm not sure why i'm pretty sure that's because i don't have my location turned on for the app now this next one lets you respring your device very quickly and this is perfect if you have a jailbreak because there's currently no like respring button or a lot of the tweaks the respring button does not work so i found that this shortcut was very useful on my jailbroken iphone 6s plus now if you don't know how to jailbreak or how to install tweaks I have videos on that on my channel, you can just go and find one. So something I would recommend you guys to do is make sure you rearrange the, the like shortcuts you have inside of the application so that you can have it in a specific order that you want because it'll show up in that order on the widget panel so it'll be easier to access. Now this specific tweak I had, or at least the shortcut, I had an issue with it working in the widget panel but it worked just fine. Now this next shortcut is really cool, it lets you send a text message but it lets you schedule it. So I did show other shortcuts in the past that let you schedule it, but they were very weird, and like they'd have to send you a reminder. I didn't like it, but this one's much better. So this next shortcut's pretty cool. It's basically just like shortcuts, but in categories. So you can select an app, and you can select the specific application you want. So you can also view like system settings and things like that. It's basically just like a control center, but for your home screen. So you can find an app and you can have the app do a specific function. So it's kind of weird. You can even update your shortcuts if you have, I believe it's called update kit or update installer as you just saw on the screen. But for example, you tap on an app and it has a list of commands that are available for that app. So overall, some pretty cool shortcuts are in this video. Hopefully you can at least take advantage of one or two. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. I got a bunch of really cool videos coming out soon. And of course, I haven't forgot about you non-jailbreak users. I myself don't use my iPhone on a jailbreak, mainly because my battery life is awful and it's destroyed. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And as always, peace.